So welcome back to my channel thanks for tuning in again so today I thought I'd show you an updated version of my pastel drawing supplies um, lately over the months my pastel drawing supplies have changed and I've added stuff so as I'm getting a lot of questions about my materials especially the materials I use for my um, simple night sky pastel drawings so I thought I'd show you again and explain about my soft pastels and my paper and all that stuff. Alright, so let's get started with the first item, which are my soft pastels. And these are the one I use. I've been using these for um, three years now. These are the Twasendor soft pastels by Koinor. This is the packaging they come in. So this is a set of 12 soft pastels. These are not oil pastels, by the way. These are soft pastels, so they are chalk based, which means you can layer them and smudge them with your finger. So this is a set of 12. I also have a 48 pastel set, but I threw away the packaging. So I thought I'd get another 12 pastel set so I could show you the packaging. But these are really great, I really like um, the colors of it. And these are just very vibrant and good quality soft pastels. So if you're interested, I will link all the materials I use um, down below. And those will link you to the Amazon website, so you can get them on Amazon if you're interested. And I will also put the prices of um, these supplies on screen somewhere, so you can see how much it cost me. All right, so these are the soft pastels I use. And yeah, this is basically the only brand I've tried so far and I really like them. So, and they are not too expensive either. So I will probably just keep on using these because I really like them. All right, so let's move on to the next product, which is the paper I use. So this is the paper I use, it's called Pastel Mat. So these are just um, A4 sheets. You can also get them in larger sheets and you can get them in all kinds of colors. So I really like to use um, neutral colors. This is a lighter gray and it's protected by, um, by plastic. So I will probably take that off so you can see it better. Alright, so here we have the light grey one um, without plastic on it. It's a very smooth surface, but it can take a lot of layers and I really like this paper. Before I used Fabriano pastel paper and also the Ken Son pastel paper, but I really like this because it can take a lot of detail, a lot more than the previous pastel papers I used. And I love these neutral colors. Um, this is a light gray and we have a darker gray here and a brown and these are my favorite surfaces to work on because neutral background colors can make all the colors you put on top of it really stand out well. So this is the paper I use. This is very expensive paper. So if you are just starting out with pastels, I would recommend to get something less expensive first, like the Kenson Me Tense paper, but if you are really serious about continuing pastels, I would recommend to get this because it's really, really good paper. It's also really thick as well, so it's also a bit cardboard-like, um, so it will not bend very easily, which is very very nice too and you can also get them in blocks so you can get large 
individual sheets, smaller ones like this and also um, blocks, but those are very expensive and I would recommend to get the individual sheets because you can then choose which color you, you want. So that's what I would recommend. And that's basically all you need to get started with pastels. You need a nice set of soft pastels and then some nice paper. And then basically you can all the draw you can do all the drawing and all the smudging with your fingers. So you don't need a lot for, for pastel drawing. But I also really like to use pastel pencils in combination with the soft pastels. So I will show you those next. So the pastel pencils I use are these. These are the Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils. And these are chalk based as well. So both the soft pastels and these are chalk based. So I don't use oil pastels anywhere, just chalk pastels. And these are really nice. I use them for, especially the black one, for the silhouettes I do on my drawings. And these are just really nice for, for detail and sharp lines. And these Stabilo pastels come in a maximum color set of 60. So I also have some more colors here. I have the full set because I also do um, pet portraits. And for that you do need the full set but if you just want to do you know these simple silhouette night sky drawings you will probably be okay with a black and a white so i will link those below as well and another brand i really like um, are the faber castell pit pastel pencils and these are very very similar to the stabilos but the pits are a bit more firm, I would say, a bit harder. So um, I think these would be better for, for detail in pet portraits, for instance. But I would recommend the Stabilos if you want to get a more softer look. And I think the colors of these are more vibrant as well. So I really like these over the pit pastels. And then I also get quite a lot of questions about how I sharpen my pastel pencils. And I just recently got a new sharpener. I will show you that one. And that is this one. This is the Derwent Superpoint Manual Pencil Sharpener. And this is a very easy to use manual pencil sharpener, but it sharpens very very accurate very sharp points so it also works really well on pastel pencils so I can maybe demonstrate how this one works so I just move it outwards and then click the pencil and it um, grabs the pencil very firmly so it does leave um, holes in your pencil which is not very good looking but it does work really great great you just twist it and it automatically stops sharpening when your pencil is sharp so that gives a really nice result so if you want to draw very detailed sharp lines for instance in pet portraits or human hair, human portraits, um, this would work really great. So I really like this one. If you want me to do a detailed review on this sharpener, you can let me know in the comments and then I will do it. You can also find a written review of this sharpener on my Patreon. So that's basically it for all my materials. So you don't need a lot of supplies if you want to do pastel drawings. You can basically get away with just soft pastels and paper and some pastel pencils for detail. 
and that's basically it um, if you have questions about any of my supplies please let them know below and I'll try to answer and yes I hope you enjoyed this video if you want me to do a similar video on colored pencil supplies let me know as well and then I want to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye